We're live. Good morning. On this day, risk morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Is it warm by you, Melanie? Yes. For now, it's good. there's a cold front coming in, but yes, it is. And you guys look like the cutest little Santa's helpers. <laughs> and almost have matching sweaters. Yes, I almost. love them. I like the balloons. I like that one. Was that the second year they came out? Uh, I bought it last year. Okay, so that was, so I know we got, a, this one's from like the first year. I and then they had last year, so they had the two different versions. I didn't like the ho, ho, home one, but. No, uh, yeah. and they're they're doing a special now that if you spend three hundred fifty dollars on ordering from them, you get a free shirt, a free sweater. Oh, very cool. Mm. Well, mm. and I thought you know because I was in Florida, and you know it's not like we would wear sweaters. And so you're in your home. So I was like, I don't know how many ugly sweaters I really need. You <laughs> never have too many ugly sweaters. Never. Well, when it's 80 degrees and you just basically put it on to take a picture and then. We could always cut it off right here and make you one of those yes. sweater vest looking things. Oh my gosh. And with, yeah, that, I don't know about those. Oh, and so if you guys are wondering to have it. You can get the sweaters from Ideas Unlimited. They're the ones who are doing the special. Yes. Ones. Good call. And I think when it comes to the sweaters, Usually we get it, you know, there's like kind of an announcement that's made right off the bat because you do have to like order them because it takes, it used to take a while for you to get them. Um, this is, so my office, they have bling Friday. So we have like bling shirts with our logos and that's what everyone wears like on Friday. And in December, it's ugly sweater day. How so, fun. Although it can get rather hot. And yeah. usually, you know, there's like kind of an announcement that's, Oh, who's got that? <laughs> yeah. Well, and then the first you, Anna? <laughs> they sold out. I always Sorry. forget. Like, I have to mute myself here so that I can play the live video because you'll start to hear that sound. But so we have a lot that I just don't see any names, but there's a lot mm -hmm. of Facebook users. So I feel like people, so whoever asked for sound was Ramsey. So they have to click for StreamYard to accept them. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, there's Leah. a lot of Facebook users. Anything under 80, we wear sweaters. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I just went to Florida over the weekend and I'm going to tell you 74 felt really good. Mm -hmm. I bet. It snowed like two days before I went down there. That's about, that's about the same range that Texas gets this time of year, but we are hit or miss. It could be 30 degrees or it could be 80 degrees. So in Florida, it was always, I mean, if you did get a cold front, you knew that it would only last like a couple days. It's 27 in Orlando. I was like, you guys have a, like a big cold front. Cause I'm like, gosh, you guys are about the same as, as um, like what we are in Tennessee. It's kind of, and Florida's cold is way different than like the Tennessee cold. Cause Florida's yeah. cold is like this wet, that goes right through you, almost nothing oh, you wear. Like it's just a super wet, really frigid cold versus, I don't know, in Tennessee, it's not it's not the same for I sure. Like terrible. I was not sure if I was gonna make it through one winter in Tennessee, but, you and I don't do closed toe shoes. I never, the only closed toe shoes I owned were my Remax shoes that I wear for R4. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> But I found boots, and now I have a whole half the closet is all boots. We need Remax boots. That's the next step, I think. Yes. See, I got the high heel. Pun intended. Pun intended. The next step. Oh, I'm gonna have to. Yes, my bookkeeper makes the best. The high heels. They're glitter. Mm. And uh, have we use the tattoos? So now I just have to find boots. Hi, Terry. That we can add those tattoos to. Now I'm on a mission. <laughs> I'm in to help, whatever needed. <laughs> so I'm so glad that you could join us, Melanie. I know that you had done a segment uh, during BOC yeah. for the, the Remax Hustle. And I mean, I know we know about it, but the more agents I talk to, you know, they added all the stuff during R4, um, really added a lot of things in the hustle. And then 
I think a lot of those tools that were we were all excited about, we almost forgot about because everything changed, what, a week after we came back. So when I saw that episode or session during the BOC, I knew that would be great to just like a reminder. And there's so many different things that we can do in all of the Remax Hustle, whether it be the videos, the RemaxHustle.com, I know you mentioned some other things. So I'm going to, we're just going to kind of let you do your, thing. do your thing. And then we'll just have conversation pieces and highlight questions as they come in. I like it. I 100% agree with all that. Let me get a share screen going. Can you guys see I got that? it. Okay. That's so up to me. I totally agree that I think that people logged in when we had the first set of tools of a Remax agent and possibly the hustle graphic, but a lot of people haven't come back to play with the rest of it. And I fully believe that you can set up a whole year's worth of marketing plan by just spending an hour or less of your time in here, creating a couple projects that you can plan to put out throughout the whole next year. So I kind of think this is perfect timing to talk about this. And in addition to that, what we know is there is some fun new tools coming to this next year. So you want to have all of these tools ready in your toolkit by the time those come out. So you're able to play with them too. So I guess let's just kind of look at a round robin for anybody who hasn't familiarized themselves with Remax Hustle. I believe fully with all of my heart that Remax Hustle is one of the greatest things that the company has ever done for the agents because it takes only a couple seconds and you don't have to put a lot of manual labor into creating these high quality pieces. So let's just kind of go around the circle. One of the and more so before you start, yeah, yeah. I think people would like to know where to get that. So yeah. they can type yeah. remaxhustle.com or yeah. they can go to Max Center and there's a tile there specifically for Remax Hustle. That's very true. And interestingly enough, you actually don't have to log into Mac Center to access it. So what she's saying is true. Another good point is you can do these from your cell phone. If you're out and about in the field and you need a quick marketing piece to show someone or possibly even one of the listing videos for your sellers. So that's a really good tip. So let's look at the welcome mat. They're pretty straightforward. They're still graphics. And they're designed to where when you log in, you can enter a homeowner's name and your name, but also these can be used for other stuff. It, you can, instead of a homeowner's name, you can say, welcome December and have a cute little graphic that you put on your social media that nobody else has put that's got your name on there. Um, you can save these and schedule them out to go out through the year because what Remax has done is they have really gone through and made sure that there's something for everything. There's something for the spring, something for the fall, something for the winter. And you can tell when it says the little word new, they're always adding new stuff all the time. So, and I think it's cute that the one that say like happy holidays, you can customize that with the clients that you just sold homes to this year yep. and send it to them. It's like, Hey, I hope you have a great time uh, on your first Christmas and at your new house or whatever it is that you want to say. Spence family, for example, right? So 100%. you can customize that to do your clients with your client's name. Well, and then two, you can schedule these. So if you are a booze user or if you're using some sort of platform, you could even go so far as to schedule a home sweet home one year in advance for a happy home anniversary. So you're right. They can be used for absolutely anything. They're just a cute customizable graphic where you don't have to have Canva or photo file or anything like that to be able to put your personalization on these images. They're very user friendly. I would say that's probably the most straightforward, easy to use one of the tiles, but they're all really, really user friendly. I haven't been in the welcome mats in a long time, but the first there time. are a ton in there. And I do love like the welcome months and you know, trying to get creative with some of that. That's pretty cool. But, but yeah, I was like, I think there used to be like five in there. Yeah, no, you're and right. If you're a friend with your clients on Facebook, you can just create these when they, you sell them the home and just post it on their wall. Their friends see it and comment on it. And you, you, you know, you kind of, people see that you were the one posting it and see that you were the realtor. So just a, one way of creating engagement as well. And your clients will appreciate that too. And they think that they're cute because they're personalized, you know? And then if, if you're somebody that does 
other stuff with these graphics. These graphics can actually go over onto your website as well if you personalize them. So they're just good images to remember that you have in your library. No, those are cute. Let's look at the hustle graphic. So one thing I really like about the hustle graphic is that even if you don't fill in all of the items, it will build you a beautiful block. So what, what you're doing here is you're talking about your last 12 months, but I'm going to show you that you can actually use that in different ways too. So let's say you did not help anybody buy a home. You want to skip that one. You've done 45 open houses. You've got a lot. 11. Yeah, it's a lot. Hey, I'm busy. I'm, I'm doing virtual <laughs> open houses. Virtual open house is two a weekend right now, right? <laughs> My favorite open house treat. You can say your favorite song to hustle to. Maybe you like to hustle to Beyonce. Not for some reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to spell her name wrong. So it's not. Yeah. <laughs> I drove five million miles. And I've eaten 10 lunches in my car while I'm out showing houses. So you can tell that I did not select every single one. And I think sometimes when people log in, they think that you have to be able to fill in all these bubbles. And you don't. If you're a buyer's agent specialist, you can skip the sellers and so on and so forth. If you don't have a ton of experience, you can skip that block and highlight some of the other stuff. Then you just enter your information. Put in your office information number so they can reach you optional email and you hit build what it's doing is it's going to put together the graphic for 12 months and you can tell that since I had only selected a couple of the items it filled in the little cute balloon and the house for me and what it's trying to do there is just build a nice clean square for us if we would have done a couple less it would have done the same thing and made sure that it was a nice graphic and then even though it says the 12 months of experience for Remax Hustle, if this is something you wanted to use besides that, you could always crop that part off the 12, the 12 months because this is actually a really cute graphic to use regularly. I've got some agents that are using this monthly on their social media and they'll say, hey, this month I did three miracle homes and I drove 1,000 miles and I did, you know, my five car lunches or whatever. And then they're making that part of their consistent message so that each and every month their clients are starting to recognize that that graphic is coming out. So I just want to encourage y'all to kind of think outside the box with all of this stuff. It doesn't have to be used exactly for how the program is tailored to use it. You could easily save this and then crop that top line off. It's so so here's my tip. So if you have Canva, for example, and you upload that into Canva, my tip for you to, for other people to crop that out is to create a little rectangle box, put it on top of what you want to cover. For example, the 12 months of hustle, put the little square on it. You can match that color to the background, which is that gray. So it covers that up and then you can put yep. a text box on top and just type whatever you want to put on it. So that's, that's my tip for how to cover that for a lot of people who don't know how to do that. You don't yeah. have to replace or whatever. Well, exactly. So, and to your point, this is something that you can get fancy with, but you could also use it just as is. And especially since we're here in December, I like Heather's idea. Her office does a challenge for everyone that does one of these for the end of the year. They, they kind of encourage each other and they go and they look for each other's hustle graphics on their profiles and support each other. But then also they get to get into a contest for when they share this sort of stuff. So, Definitely make sure that when you see other agents using tools like this, support them in that regard too. And then to Anna's point, if you want to get super fancy and customize it, you can pop it in Canva. You could pop it into PhotoFi. You could do it even in your cell phone photo editing software. You can add text that way. So if you're, again, you can use Remax Hustle from your phone. And if you've got a tablet, it works really well on a tablet. And so you've got all that editing software there that you're used to using when you normally crop a picture, you could do stuff like that too. Mm -hmm. Very user friendly. I so. really like that monthly tip. And cause even if you only use four blocks, I mean, it just makes it so it's a perfect square like for Instagram and whatnot. So it's like the more you put on, the more, you know, the longer that infographic is, they'll always put in placement to make it look even Yep. and, and look nice. But no, I think that's, there's so many different ways, but I love the monthly idea. 
Yep. And then yeah, just, so if you're doing yeah. it monthly, let's say you're putting in the, the same stuff every time, maybe this month's song is something about, you know, Christmas, like dashing through the halls because that's kind of funny for real estate, you know, something like that. And then you're doing cookies in December because it's Santa Claus friendly, but maybe in February you're doing candy or, you know, so you could kind of use the same captions each time, but then change the pertinent ones, change the number of listings and the number of buyers and the miles you drove or the open houses, just to kind of show that you're out there hustling. It's a no, cute I, I love that. And we're a big miracle office. So like to do the miracle homes, the song, and I know, gosh, way back, I used to do every Friday was my, my Friday butt dance. And I had my theme song of the week. And then at one point, like Facebook kind of started, stopped blocking, like blocked uh, the YouTube video. So I couldn't have all that in there. And then that kind of stopped. But so have like the, your, I don't know, I do theme songs, like my ringtone, like it changes with my mood. And it's just something that gets me going. And so I think I love that monthly idea. I may even do that for the office. Well, and they're so, cute. And, and you know what? That's a great idea, especially and not even on a grand scale as an office. Even if you had a team, you could do the team, you know, production. Or even if you had a team member, you could say, here is buyer agent Sally's month. And then highlight the next agent on your team, too. So I love that, too. Using it as an office is a great idea. One person was asking if they can download the image and put it into postcards. And I believe you can. You can just download it. You can, for example, upload it into Canva and it's a square image. Just put it to one side of your of the Canva postcard template. And then on the other side, you can put your photo and a little message from your contact information. Yep. So we can do that. I have and a local printer. Print. Local printers work well with this too. Like if you're not doing it through Design Center or Canva or anything like that, if you just mm -hmm. download the image and email it to your local printer and tell them what you want, they can make it happen for you as well. Because we have had people use this as postcards. They also work really well in an email because just sort of like the use of our Remax stickers, this is a glance that someone can take at an image and they can gather a lot of information without having to sit there and read. They're taking in a bunch of stuff even without realizing it. So you're branding them by consistently using this tool. So oh, I, I would like to do that in Photify and then using this the animated stickers oh, for the yes. hotel and stuff like that to throw on top of some of those. That, that would be awesome. fun too. Mm-hmm. Oh, my brain is just starting to go in overtime again. <laughs> well, and then even think about all the way down to if, if you know, if you're somebody who likes to do open houses, if you just had this as printed onto, onto your flyer, because you have holes in all your flyers for photos, you can stick something like this on some of those big blocks. So you, with all of the hustle tools, they're designed to use one way and it's suggested, but all of them can be used so many different ways. I mean, there's just so much flexibility with this. You can even crop this thing, the rectangle one, and use it as a Facebook cover. I mean, you, you're gonna have to play with it a little bit, but they're beautiful graphics that you don't have to create from scratch, you know? I like that, you know, sometimes you just have to think outside the box mm -hmm. when, you know, just to kind of make things. And, and that's why I like the different groups that we have because we all do things differently. and. You know, you just find what works for you, tweak it a little bit. But no, I love that. I mean, you can go Santa Claus love Remax, you know, and then build a cute little hustle graphic about him since it's December and Santa's Santa's hustle. And you could talk about the mile he drove. You don't even have to use it for actual business. You can use it for just fun stuff because it's got That's our brand. Cool. Yeah, exactly. It's still branding your your colors and your look for your sphere of influence. So. Awesome. I love that. I need to now my brain is working overtime because usually I just kind of do that as an end of the year project. But I love the monthly and even bringing it into Photofy to add some animation stickers. And oh, yes. Yeah, so I can't wait to play. I'm hoping and I have suggested this. I'm hoping that they give us a little freedom for that top gray bar so we can use these even more user friendly in other ways as well. And they that is something that they're considering so that it doesn't necessarily say 12 months so we can use it for all sorts of stuff. Yeah, no, no, I agree. That's that a good idea. And I, I've well, mentioned it several times, but if we could create the market reports with the hustle graphic. Oh, yes, that would be such, oh my gosh, 
I hope that you've suggested that. And if you have, I did. okay, yeah, I was gonna say you know, that. Plans for holographic. Yeah. I'm like, oh, next, next quarter, next quarter, next year, and I'm like, hey, okay, I've been saying this for like. Is, is that in the ideas portal, Anna? I don't know. I've. You need to go put that in the ideas portal and then post it so that we can vote it up. Definitely. Same thing with that header because the ideas portal is not just for bouge. I mean, it's for anything in general. So that's your homework. Yeah, and put that in the ideas portal, post the link so we can all go in there and vote it up. I'd say since we have the beauty of this group too, if anybody listening is out there playing with this and they have any good ideas or they make one, post it in the group so we can all see it and share and talk about ideas and, and see what everybody's doing with these because they really no, I love are that. underutilized. I think that these are something that could be tapped into a lot more than they are. For so sure. Let's, let's look at this one because Okay, so I love all of these, I will say, and they've all got their pros and cons, but I would say the most versatile is probably the tools of a Remax agent. It may be the one that most people are readily familiar with because we've had it for so long, but I think there's some things to it that some people sometimes look over. And if you look at this, what, what we're basically doing is you enter your contact information and then you come down and you pick from all these little topics to build a commercial. Well, I've had people do that once and then assume that they're done with this tool. If you think about it, because you can pick three different things each time, you have infinite videos you could make. You could make one with a seller's focus, one with a buyer's focus, one with a self-promotion focus, all sorts of stuff. So don't make one and then think you're done there's actually a lot you can do and let me show you how easy it is to customize so you get to pick what brand you're working with if you're collection if you're commercial or if you're just going for standard remax and once you've got the look that you like you go ahead and enter your information hey you never know santa claus, <laughs> santa claus is now a remax agent he is on the nice list so we're going to give him my phone number though I want to take all the calls for anybody that wants to be added onto the wish list. And then we'll give him the northpole.com as his thing. So one of my favorite things about these is when you upload the photo, yes, you can upload your own headshot, but also if you're doing something silly, you could upload Santa Claus. Um, also, if you guys remember a while back when we were all making those really cute bitmojis, but emojis look really cute in this frame in the background because your clients kind of know that that's you and it's just it's just something different than adding a headshot there. And then you kind of go down here and you tailor. But the thing I want to point out is that some of these as you're editing them will update. So let's say you want to do years of experience and we're talking about Santa Claus, right? So I'm going to highlight that and then notice a new box comes up. I can go in there and say, I've got, I'm Santa. I've got a hundred plus years experience, right? And then what else would Santa want? He would definitely want worldwide connections. Mm -hmm. and and I'd say he needs a caffeine boost. He's staying up all that he time. He does need a caffeine boost. They're working hard. <laughs> it's so true. And then you get to choose your music. And what I like about this, which I'll play you a little clip, but what Remax has done is they have used the same audio that they're using on their consumer facing commercials. So mm -hmm. when you are choosing from these little audio snips, you are actually branding the consumer to stuff that they've heard out there in the World Wide Web and through our partnerships on the television commercials and things like that. So let's see if we can hear them. That one's pretty cute. It's kind of jazzy. And then you got one that's a little bit more swaggery, which I think might fit Santa better. <laughs> Once you pick your jam, you just hit create. And y'all, we talked through all of this, but had I just done this, if I was getting in here to do this, you can create one of these in under 60 seconds. And that is beyond impressive. So let me just show you what we made a 15 second commercial. If we wouldn't have been talking, it would have taken us less than a minute. And here's what it looks like. So these are wonderful as they are. And I recommend that you make 
you know, at least 12, because if you think about it, we're about to talk about the moving commercials as well. All the tools in Remax Hustle could keep your marketing outlined for a whole year by posting every other week a different video. You could have the moving commercials and then you could do several of these with different focuses. Even if you just did one a quarter, um, just change it up because your, your clients really think that these are fancy when they see them coming through their feed. One of the biggest tips I could give anyone is these cute little buttons over here that look really user friendly. And they are user friendly. However, if I were to show you what were to happen when I hit that, it's going to look like it's going to my Facebook, which it will. Uh, but when it gets there, what it's going to do is it's going to put this little gray bar at the bottom that says the tools of a Remax agent. Just to kind of talk that out so it's easy to understand why this is happening. Facebook believes that this video is owned by Remax Hustle since I'm sharing it from there. It makes logical sense, right? But your million dollar tip is that instead of hitting that fancy share button, if you instead hit the download button, let that settle onto your desktop wherever you want it. And then when you're in your Facebook, if you actually upload it as a manual post, just like you would a normal photo or video, that gray bar that is not the fanciest goes away for you. And it completely changes the look of how these commercials look in your social media timeline for your clients. They are way more inclined to actually click it when you do it. Not, not only that, so videos autoplay in Facebook when you upload it like this. Mm -hmm. The other way, you're basically sharing a website link and it's going to take them away from Facebook. So Facebook is not going to show that <clears throat> that post nearly as much as it's going to show the video because Facebook, of course, wants people to stay on Facebook longer. They don't want to navigate them away from Facebook. So you're it'll autoplay. You're going to get a ton more mm -hmm. views by just uploading it versus sharing a link that's going to take them away from Facebook going to another a web page of that video. So always, always, always download. Yep. And right now, I think just because we're all on here together and we're on Facebook, it's not wanting me to necessarily <laughs> post but two videos in there. Yes, you got two of them in there. Oh, I do? Yeah. Ah, look at that. All right. Well, oh, that's, that's weird. Yeah. But you get the point. And when you when you are scrolling through when you've done this, I'll try it one more time and see if it'll let it happen for me. But to Heather's point, it just looks so much more professional when you're scrolling through the timeline and they see it auto playing. It makes them stop and really look at it. So let's try this again. Oh, yep, it's going to take it. I think it was that it was the double views. And of course, it'll let us know as soon as it's ready to view. So um, Melanie, where, what else? What else can people do with these videos? Because there's also their create a Facebook cover, for example. Yeah, and they look so nice. I can actually show you on our Remax Trinity Southlake page. We've got these. Is, the, is the uh, Facebook cover a new option? It's new since Remax Hustle was announced. It is a couple months in the making now. So some agents have already done it. But look at how nicely it fits at the top of the page there. I mean, it's just I used to do three different versions, sew them together so that it would be long enough for a Facebook cover. So I'm like, well, if that button was always there, why would I have done that? No, it wasn't always there. No, it wasn't. Okay. Always there. Like, okay. What's interesting about that is exactly what you just said. When you download it as a Facebook cover video, it is downloaded as a looped video and not one. And so the other tip I would give you for that is if you're going to use this on your Bouge website, you want to do one of two things. You want to either use the looped version, the Facebook cover version, so that it continuously plays on your website and it doesn't roll into other videos. Or even better, if you've got a YouTube channel, you want to post all these on your YouTube channel. And then when you're putting these videos onto your Bouge website, it will roll into the next video on your personal playlist. And so then you'll just have a whole stream of hustle videos playing for them through the website. So that's a great point. So Howard is asking if you can change the language. I don't think you can. I haven't seen that option. I have not, but I would think that that would definitely be a suggestion that you could make. And then most of this stuff is typable. So the only stuff that, you know, your business card in the end would be recognizable for whatever you want to do. It's just the tools here. They're going to be in English. All of this type stuff. 
So, but you know, just kind of know what's in here. Um, I would suggest since it's December and you're making your plan for 2021, think with intent on what you want to make. So maybe think I'm going to make one that has seller focus that I can use to advertise to my sellers, one that I can advertise my specialty with buyers, something that is self-promotion oriented. Maybe that's when you do the, you know, negotiation skills, stuff like that. And then think about some fun ones, like possibly the Santa Claus or other types of things that you may want to do to kind of put yourself out there with these. And then just start with creating just one and you're going to get hooked. And, and also another idea is for, you know, offices when they have a new agent that joins the company, maybe make one of these for that agent to welcome them. And you're, you know, you can use the headquarters, the global connections and the hustle as, you know, and then you can share the video with them, but, you know, post that on to the office's social welcoming because they're going to end up sharing that. So it just be a little different. 100%, 100%. That would be, so, and then think about how impressive that would be to their sphere to see that the company is supporting them and welcoming them in that way. And then I could just see everybody supporting them. When people put these out, their clients lose their mind. They think that we have spent hundreds of dollars paying someone to create these commercials for us. They, I mean, I've seen people say stuff like, wow. And, and people say, oh, you're famous. And look at that. And I just would challenge everyone to at least try it, at least try to create one. They're so fabulous. No, I agree. It's my favorite. The, this specific button is my favorite tile of all the options. I just think that it's so versatile to be able to use. Okay, let's look at the customized commercials. You guys are probably familiar with some of these that have been on the television and the rest of them will actually be scheduled throughout um, 2021. So this is our actual media ad campaign for Remax. This is what's being sent to the consumers. Let's look at how easy this is to build. Same thing at the top, just like all the rest of them where you pick your brand, you go ahead and you fill in who you, want to be that day if you want to be Melanie or Santa Claus, I guess. <laughs> and then you go ahead into your contact information. You can see that I've done this enough times that it's starting to populate it for me. So this is just another thing that shows you how dang quick it can really be. Let's use Santa again, just since he's right there friendly on my desktop. And he's so cute. He's hustling this morning. So what I like about these is in only one click you can walk away with an entire year's worth of campaigns you can select one notice that i have the select button here when i want to select these commercials but i just suggest the very first time you're in go ahead and hit the select all button hit create and let it do its thing and you're going to be shocked with how fast this is and the type of output that is the result of just using a few minutes of your time to do this. So, all right, we just made a dozen commercials in less than a minute. I can hit download all, or I can download them all individually. And remember, we really don't want to pick these little fancy buttons that are very handy. They're just not necessarily the best finished look. We really want to hit download all for multiple reasons. We, that way we have that library to come back on. It looks more professional when we post it. So we're going to do that, but let me just show you an idea of what we just made. This one right here is my favorite. I know this guy. I've talked to him on the phone. He knows his stuff. As a former pizza delivery, that's one of a uh, person. That's one of my favorites too. I think it's so cute. And every time I play that for a client, they laugh out loud, literally, they literally giggle at it. And so what these are, if you've never watched them, is they're all focused on highlighting the strengths of a Remax agent from the consumer perspective. So, you know, for instance, right now, um, one of the things in our industry is that clients want a full time agent. So that's what this one highlights. This one down here talks about the importance of working with an agent instead of working with the for sale by owner. This is one of the most, yeah, it's one of the most popular because of exactly what you just said. The clients know this. They remember when we have this as our ad campaign for many months and I have walked into places before and started playing this and the client 
puts up their hands and says, Owls for sale. They know this. They're being <laughs> branded this by Remax. And this is all part of the stuff you want to lean into to let the brand support you. Uh, there's well, one thing there. that, that commercial. I got that one set up with AdWorks for streaming channels. So if you have Hulu or you, or YouTube TV, whatever you have, yes. a commercial pops up. So I've had several people in my area saying like, hey, I just saw your commercial. Like I've never seen a local person with a commercial on a streaming channel. And I'm like, yes. oh, do you want to buy a house? That's all I need to know. <laughs> How cool is that though? That, I mean, and all of this is 100% free. There's no monthly charge. There's no one-time flat rate. And this is stuff that you'd have to pay someone to design. She now has this out on her commercials going out through, you know, television near her. And it, it's just so impressive. It really is. It's all, it's so fancy, really. And and the good thing is, is just like the balloon is they associate that commercial, once they've seen it on yours enough time, they associate it every time they see it on national TV, with you. they immediately think of you. I mean, it's it's really the same with the balloon is once someone associates you with the balloon, every balloon sign is now associated with you. I mean, even my father in Germany calls like, how did you list the flat down the road? And I'm like, <laughs> you know, okay, well, I'm everywhere. And I'm, you know, at a house in Germany and I'm they fabulous. just think you it's me. You have to ask. <laughs> Uh, the other thing is you want to kind of know what they all are because you can use these to your advantage. Like I'm looking at this one, which is making me think that I did a listing appointment recently where I was competing against a compass agent and the seller was literally telling me that they were impressed by the compass fancy sign that was going to be put in the yard. And I knew I had this hustle video. And so I sent them this video the night before I showed up. And when I showed up, they were laughing about it. They had it on their phone and they were laughing about it. If, if you've never watched this one, the sign ends up selling this couple the house because the sign is so fancy. And so seller. It, it, exactly. It's the sellers. It, yeah. It's the sellers and the sign ends up selling on the house, but it just, it, it's, if you know the content of these little videos, you can also use them to that type of advantage. It just to kind of highlight yourself without having to highlight yourself. It's it's enough said if I just drop this video into their email and say, I'll see you in the morning. I like I the I to to say. With this one? Yeah. Yeah, where he falls through the stairs. Yeah, I think that one's like probably the number one. I love the global connections, mm -hmm. you know. That's my favorite. Um, I know an agent. Yeah, I know an agent. Which we're like, yes. think this one is that one. It, should we, do we want to play one? Does yeah, play it. Okay. Were you able to find any other listings in the area? You know, for comparison? I don't do that. Isn't that your job? I'm not that kind of agent, no. So maybe after an open house, when you've had agents tell you that they're doing their their own job, you know, you send them something like this and say, I'm full service. I'll do all this for you. I'll help you find this list of open houses. And then, you know, the this one, the the plane flies over their head and they've been sold the house. I think this is the one. This is the, that's the I know an agent. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Here it is. Perfect, right? Actually, we were thinking of Rome. I know an agent there. Look at this view. This place is unbelievable. It's beautiful. We've been looking at Jamaica. Uh -huh. I know an agent there. Welcome to Jamaica. We <laughs> oh, love it. Love it. <laughs> what? We're thinking about Tokyo. Uh -huh. I know a guy. I think that one is like my favorite. And I mean, really, I mean, that's what Remax is all about, those global connections. I mean, we just hit 20,000, you know, global members in the creative group, which is insane. I mean, it's been four years. Such an accomplishment. I mean, that's just, it's it's crazy. And well, it just feels like yesterday, Breeze, I think we could do a marketing because we were the only one sharing all the marketing stuff in the referral group. And she's like, yes. I think we could have like a whole marketing group just for Remax. And I was, I just kind of ignored her like, oh my gosh, like I already have my hands full with that group. No, and then look at it became the one of the most widely used resources in our company. So yes. it just goes the to global show. connections and just everyone helping each other. And it's to me, it's exactly what Remax is all about. That's my favorite tool is yep. the connections and, and 
everyone's willing to help. So. And what a refreshing way to ask your database for a referral without saying, hey, do you know anybody that needs to buy or sell? If you send this video and you just say, hey, I don't know if I've ever let you know, but we have Remax agents all across the world and I can help you not just in my neighborhood, but I can also help you connect with an agent anywhere globally. And you send this video. It's such a nice, more friendly, warmer touch than just a, a random cold call. And it's something that they're more likely to remember because they smiled when they watched it. They got a little joy out of, out of seeing this commercial that ends in your name. They're more likely to remember that you told them that you can refer than if you just verbally say, hey, I can refer you to Tennessee or to France or to wherever. It's no, absolutely. So no, these are these are fantastic. And my tip would be you download all mm -hmm. and then you can go into your Facebook and using the hustle videos because you can do multiple variations. Maybe every Friday is your video day. You write a little blurb, you upload it. If you have a business page, you can schedule that. So basically every Friday you schedule a different video. Maybe it's a commercial. Maybe it's one of the hustle videos alternating it. I actually do these with a photo and without I, because um, on Instagram, if it makes it square, it'll be perfect uniform, whereas it won't be cut off with the photo. So it's almost like you get two different versions of the same one. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be, you know, 26 videos go in there and make all these different hustle videos, alternating them. Then you end up with a year's worth of videos scheduled on your Facebook and really just, a matter of minutes. I mean, it's just. And I just want to point out to keep it simple. When you click download all, it's going to download as a zip file, and you want to unzip that file so that you have access to those videos, and you can upload each video individually. You're not going to be able to upload the zip file per se. Just so you know. Keep That's it right. And also make sure if you should have a YouTube channel, put those on YouTube. So now you and have content. Make sure you're writing a blurb and a header. So put them on YouTube. And Maybe email the, on your website. I mean, if you're going to do it, let's, you know, go all out. And I know when I'm working with agents, we kind of baby step it, you know, just do one hustle, do all the commercials. I do love the We Care. I know we had that on our office page for a long time, the We Care video, the community video, which pretty much on a national level took place of the regular commercials during you know, the height of the pandemic and stuff. But I really liked that. But if you have never shared this, it is not too late. I will say that we are still in the middle of this pandemic and it is very warm. It's only 15 seconds. Let me play it. And I believe you can change. I don't know if it's I am or we are. And then there's something else that you can customize on one of those. Yes. The it's, person. It's, okay. It's so yeah. say, I am here. I'm ready to work for you or I'm available to answer any questions. And then or keep in mind, these can also be used anywhere. Oh, and a custom blank too, uh, you know, as we close 2020. And then and you're just giving them a reminder. Heather, you were talking about adding it to YouTube. There's a reason why people need to email their YouTube um, channel to social media at remax.com. Can you explain that? Yeah, I mean, when uh, these videos first came out, I don't think even Remax understood how strict YouTube is about people stealing other people's content. And all of a sudden, like these videos came out, we're all putting them out on YouTube, and then those channels were getting taken down by yep. YouTube. So immediately Remax, you know, is having to contact YouTube, like what's going on? So that was what it is, is YouTube is super strict on people stealing content, which is great. I just don't know that, um, you know, Remax knew what was actually going to happen. So what you do is you email your channel link, just that URL when you go to your, your YouTube, just email that over to social media at remax.com and just let them know you're putting the commercials on there. Usually I get a response within the hour, just we're good to go. I think what they do is they must have kind of like a portal from YouTube that allows them to kind of add it to like, they're okay. Like, you know, they have our permission, it's their stuff. So that's all it is. But I know I quickly freaked out and took down any of these videos yeah. that I did off of YouTube because the I was freaked out. I am not gonna, you know, my. 
I spent years building up my YouTube channel. So I'm not going to pay YouTube $10,000 for my 15 seconds of fame. I get it. I was the same way. My YouTube oh my gosh. I freaked out. And then I, I feel bad because I had already done like all the booze sites for my agents. And part of that was creating a hustle video for them. Cause I think that was even before these new commercials came out and I don't know whether, you know, now they're definitely don't even go on their booze website. Cause I can tell if I've been able to go in there to remove that video and now it just has a gray box. This video doesn't, and I'm like, check your, you know, cause if you change your login, I don't have it. I can't fix that. But yeah, so they're all, I took everything down cause I freaked out. Well, and it, it's just a testament to always making sure that you know where you're sharing from. And that goes right back to the importance of, you know, copywriting and all that and using the tools that are provided by Remax. So these videos, they are protecting us in that manner. Heather's right. These are stuff that you can feel confident using as long as you followed all the steps to provide your YouTube channel. And you're not going to have to worry about getting a phone call four months from now, owing somebody for their video or for their work that you've customized. And the care video is just part, if you go to remaxhustle.com, it's just one of, you have the, the care video, the commercials, the hustle videos, as well as that. So that's all the way over. Yep, that's this one right here. The only one we didn't talk about yet is the custom listing videos. And these are phenomenal. The one thing that I don't think people realize is that you can also add some of your own custom information into here. And I, and I, I know I keep saying this, but you can do this from your cell phone. So one way I've been using this is the first time I go out to a property, I'll snap a couple pictures. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. You're not necessarily using the one that you make on this particular visit to them for your, you know, national marketing you're using it to kind of seal the listing appointment. So if you've got your cell phone in your hand and you're driving to your listing appointment and you pull up to your listing and you snap a quick picture on the way out, maybe you take a picture of the park and then you kind of go in here and you email this to them when you've gotten home or you even text it to them, they are blown away. You can even show this to them at your very first listing appointment if you're doing this on the way in the door and you can say things like this is the type of, um, content that I'm going to be able to make for you. Go ahead and put in your details, say what you want to say about the house. Then it lets you select photos. So I hope I have been cleaning off my computer. So hopefully I'll be able to find some photos for us to use as an example. I apologize about that. We'll use the ones that we've made today. Uh, let's we'll pick Santa. This is my living room. Let's just say this is my living room, right? And then notice when I did that, I could have selected a button that says, I don't have a photo. You're welcome to do that. It'll, it'll skip that for you. So, you know, think outside the box on this to you guys. Let's say you're doing a listing that's in a highly coveted school zone. You can upload an image of the school logo. It doesn't have to necessarily be a photo of the home. It could be um, an aerial of the city it, at the front of the house and the school photo. So just something that you can take with you into the appointment to show off your skills. We'll put my broker up here. She'll probably kill me for doing that, but she's so cute. I'm going to do it anyway. Um, if she's watching, I'm sorry, Jackie, and I love you. You're cute. So, and then you go down and you pick your features of the home. And one thing that is sometimes overlooked is the agent's choice right here. It can only be selected as the second option. So let's say I have just listed a house and y'all saw me type up here that it was close to the lake. So maybe I want to say that it's in a prime location. And I want to say it notice some people just stop right here, but you can actually edit this. You can say in Carol ISB, because we know that this is a, a coveted school zone in my area. I can get in there and I can up to upload some of these other ones too. Like, let's say I want to do agent's choice and I click this not only will it let me select a new photo for this one, I'm getting to build my own now, right? So again, we're picking some weird photos, but you guys get the point of what we're doing here. You can change it to say whatever you want. You can say, move it ready or invest or bring your cash or whatever you want to say. And it's going to put that there for you. You can pick some of the ones that don't require any updating at all but some of them allow you to go ahead and tailor it like just remodeled. Look at this. I can select a picture of the new windows that they just added to the home 
or I could select smart features and I could say what those smart features are that we've just added a Nest thermostat or whatever it may be. So this and, one- And you're gonna also change that as Howard says, you can change it into a different language. So if you're in a different country, you can still right. use this video in your own language. Doesn't need to be in English. I, I don't know a ton of Spanish, so there you go. <laughs> you know, which, no. and, and it is. And I think that this one, because of all the personalization you do, it may take a few more moments to create a video. But again, we're talking about taking one minute versus taking three minutes. So it's really not a huge time investment. But because of the flexibility with it, I, it's another one of those that I think is underutilized. So we've got four different little songs here. Let's hear what they listen to. Pretty recognizable. Me neither, Heather. Mm -hmm. I played with them at first, and it just, to me, it was like, you know, 70s wallpaper, and that was right? about it's, as far as I went. Especially this one. The funk for sale totally goes with the 70s wallpaper vibe. I, 100%. But so let's, let's say we like this one. So we're going to select it and then hit create. And remember I chose weird pictures, right? So but you'll get the point of how impressive it is. And again, I'm doing this in my car on my tablet before I walk into my listing appointment. And I'm gonna say, let me show you an example of some of the stuff I can do for your home to get your property marketed. <laughs> And then of course, always download and do not do the little handy button. I did not talk about this copy link button, but this copy link will give you a URL that you can then turn around and paste when people want URL videos. For instance, on your Bouge website, it asks you when you put the video block on there to put a link to a video, this button works for that. I do always, just like Heather and Anna said, suggest that you put it on your YouTube, but if you don't have a YouTube and you're not comfortable, this absolutely will work. So you can use that to post that video on your boot sites, that link will work? Yep, and you can actually have one, I think, right now. We'll I mean, I would do that before YouTube only because then you don't get the, you know, a lot of agents, one of my top questions is on those when you put a video link from YouTube to the boot site, if you watch it all the way through, you get the advertisement and I don't think people realize the advertisement that is seen is based on your inner, your personal internet behavior. Yeah. So good point. If somebody sees, you know, mine would be like the whole Pokemon or whatever the kids are watching. It's going to be different than what computer is, you know, watching it. It's going to be based on their behavior, but if they do not so great things, they may see different thumbnails and yep. then they're thinking it's the agent. It's like, no, it's based on what you're doing. What are you doing? A hundred percent. And it's, and they don't understand. And then the next thing then they know they're in the YouTube vortex and they're watching videos of cats climb Christmas trees before they know it, you know, <laughs> and then they're, they've forgotten all about selling their house. So I a hundred percent agree with that. I thought I had one of those on here, but today it looks like I've got the tools of an agent, but I do want to point out that I, apparently captioned it. I need to go back and edit that and take off that caption. But if you notice, I chose the looped one. So this way, if somebody does get to my website and play this, it's going to continue to loop. So um, these are, that was all of them. We just kind of touched on all of them one by one. I would say if there's anybody listening right now, just go in and make one. It will, it will hook you. It will show you how easy it is. If there's anybody from an office level listening, I love the ideas that we shared about using it for welcome videos for agents and using it from an office perspective. Think about you could even do a custom listing video with photos of your office. Um, these can be used for recruiting. If there's anybody listening who's into recruiting, I have sent this, this link to agents and said, just play with this. And then I have also seen some marketing that's less than impressive and gone in and made a listing video for an agent I was trying to recruit and sent them that. And that, when received is very impressive. And then they say, you know, 
oh, wow, how'd you do that? And then I send them remaxhustle.com and show them that it takes under a minute to do. So every one of these tiles can be used in multiple ways. It's not just a straightforward click the button, download the video, share it to your Facebook. These can be embedded in email. They can be put on your website. They can be texted. They can be played at a open house on loop on the television as you're in the living room serving cookies and showing the upstairs floor plan. Um, so they can be used a lot of different ways. They're, they're a really handy tool. And we've hinted at this a couple times. One of the things that we are told is coming, which should be the first part of quarter one next year, if not even within the next few weeks, is you're going to be able to do all this and then some. Some of these you're even going to be able to drop in your own recorded video. So imagine saying, guys, I can't wait to tell you about this listing. It, you can actually live in X city for under $400,000. Click here and look at that. And then the listing video starts playing. I mean, this is really impressive stuff. So I would encourage y'all to get comfortable with it now so that when all the new stuff comes out, you've already got at least one of all of these in your folder library toolkit that you can use throughout the rest of the year. No, I think these are great. And I think it is important to kind of think outside the box because you can use these for so many different things. And it's great to be able to add the video and in incorporating this into your marketing. So I think these are all great. Yeah. This is awesome, really, Ellen. That's yeah, a few no, I, I didn't know about. Well, and I, I really do thank you guys for having me in because as, as simple as it seems, the Remax Hustle, you really can do so much with it. And it gets my wheels turning too. You think of all these different ways that you can go use it. And even the ones that you've already created, different ways that you could put those ones that you have out in a manner that you haven't put them out yet. I mean, it's just the options are endless. Yeah, so I want everyone to go out there, try to do some, get those posted, schedule them out. Maybe we could do a class on organizing YouTube, scheduling this stuff out on Facebook. I know um, the next two weeks, like this is our last class of the year, but we are going to be working to get our classes together for next year. I love it. Holiday hats on point, ladies. <laughs> Thank you, whoever said that. <laughs> yes. We're trying to get on the good list. Santa is obviously watching. He's been laced throughout this whole conversation, so we do not want to be found on the naughty list. We're going to make sure that we have videos made so we end up on the good list. I am a holiday, so I should be on the good list. Just you are. You, you're default on the list. I got every every day is a holiday with me. <laughs> I have I have to hustle to make it onto the good list. So <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much, Melanie, Anna. Mm -hmm. Always a pleasure, and I look forward to a lot of fun stuff. Um, we'll probably be putting a poll out as far as times and days. I think we might go a little later next year because we have a lot of West Coasters that you know, say it's way too early for them. So we'll see, but we look forward to next year, a lot of stuff. And I hope you guys have an amazing holiday. Thank you both for everything that you guys do and everybody who's been a part of all of this training, you guys rock. Um, and we'll see you guys later. Yeah. Happy Thank holidays. You.